The Predator is an iconic movie monster, but the initial design they shot with got laughed right out of the jungle. 35 years ago, the original Predator hit theaters, kickstarting a long-running action horror franchise that's still cranking out new installments today. The movie introduced audiences to a species of extraterrestrial hunters known most commonly as Predators. The massive creatures sport sharp mandibles, hair-like growths, and a hulking frame that's designed to kill. As memorable as the Predator creature design is, the aliens didn't always look like the ones audiences are familiar with now. Like many genre classics, the original Predator movie featured an earlier version of the creature design that didn't end up on screen. Unlike most movies, though, the original Predator design is a legendary dud, a decidedly unscary costume that various members of the cast and crew have in turn compared to a chicken, a rat, a lizard, and a duck. Tales of the original Predator design go as far back as an early pitch meeting, which special effects designer Steve Johnson described in an interview with The Monster Show. With great pomp and ceremony, McTiernan comes in and slams down a bunch of designs that had already been done by a gentleman, a production designer. Johnson described the design as both awful and ahead of its time, with reptile-like legs that bent backwards at an extended set of arms. And they wanted to shoot on the muddy slopes of Mexico in the real jungles. It was virtually physically impossible to do. To make matters worse, the team actually needed two versions of the costume one that was true to color and one that was bright red, to contrast with the green jungle for scenes in which the Predator's cloaking effect would be achieved through an optical trick. In The Hollywood Reporter's oral history about the making of the film, assistant director Bo Marks explained that the team began shooting the movie in Mexico before they received the Predator costume. Probably a couple weeks before we needed the Predator, a box comes, and we open it up and it looks like a giant red rubber chicken. Marx wasn't impressed, and no one else was either. He told The Hollywood Reporter, It's pretty hard to have the most deadly alien from outer space coming to hunt man, and it looks like a f chicken, unless you're doing a comedy. Star Arnold Schwarzenegger put it more plainly in his autobiography Total Recall, saying that the final product, quote, looked like a guy in a lizard suit with the head of a duck. The suit, which can still be seen today in test footage, didn't last long. Up-and-coming action hero Jean-Claude Van Damme was cast as the original Predator, but was later replaced. Johnson described a fitting with the actor in which Van Damme expressed disgust with the red suit, saying, I look like a superhero. In addition to just looking goofy, some involved with the project say the first iteration of the costume was also not conducive to shooting conditions. Actor Bill Duke told THR that the summer humidity caused Van Damme to pass out several times on set which reportedly helped contribute to his dismissal and change of direction. Although stories about the way the actor exited the project vary wildly, Van Damme spoke to THR's Heat Vision about Predator in 2019, describing what sounds like an utterly miserable situation. They put me on sticks, and they start to melt all the cast on me, you know? And it's boiling hot. Van Damme says the crew even covered his head with what sounds like hot plaster, initially ignoring his attempt to tap out with a pre-discussed signal when it got too overwhelming. He also says Silver asked him to jump in stilts, which he thought wouldn't work. Despite all the flack it's caught in the years since Predator came out, behind-the-scenes photos of the non-red version of the original creature costume show that in terms of visual design, it's not actually that bad. With a flat, insect-like head and thinner frame, it looks more like the prawns from District 9 than like a skilled hunter. But it's still a unique and visually striking design that's really not much sillier than the current iteration. Yet, according to pretty much everyone involved, audiences are lucky to have ended up with the version of the Predator they got, a version designed by legendary special effects artist Stan Winston. This Predator seems to be more practical for the actors wearing it. Plus, it's not unintentionally funny like that so-called chicken suit was. Screenwriter Jim Thomas put it best in THR's oral history, To see a guy in a red suit running around in the jungle, when you have all these guys in military garb and a minigun and everything, it's like, what is this?